He's only been arrested. Theo has not been arrested. Theo is not in jail. He's just at the police station. Why? Because he was in a car with a friend, and the friend was driving a little too fast, and the friend only had a learner's permit. But I don't get it. What was Theo doing in a car? I mean, I thought you and Dad grabbed him last week for cutting class. We did, Vanessa, but we gave him permission to go to the library. But didn't he call from a police station in Coney Island? That's right, he did. And for his sake, I hope there's a very good library in Coney Island. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Theo, I don't know that I'm going to be able to accept that apology until I've heard all the facts. Well, Tom Lauk picked me up in his dad's new car to go to the library. Tom Lauk has no driver's license. He has a permit. He has a permit. They were the only two people in the car. Two permits, driving around the city, aiming at people. <laughs> but we weren't going very far. Theo. Coney Island is 10 miles away. Did you even get near the library? Sure. We went in, we put our books on the tables and our jackets on the chairs, and then we went out to get a hot dog. I see. So the library was a cover-up for this trip to Coney Island. There you go. Yeah. And it was on the way back when Tom accidentally ran through the red light. Uh-huh. See, that's when we heard the siren. So I turned around and I saw a police car coming at us with his lights flashing. So I said, uh-oh, it's the cops. That must have freaked Tom out because he hit the pedal and we were off. You tried to outrun the police? Well, don't worry, Mom. I had my seatbelt on the whole time. I don't know, Cliff. Something has gotten into him lately. Well, I think it all started when he began to shave. You know, if I tell Theo to do something, I have to go behind him and make sure he's done it. I have to tell him ten times before he does anything. Do you know he took my razor and used my last blade? Yesterday, he took my car with a friend who has a driver's license, and that was okay. All I asked was that he put some gas in the car. I even gave him the money to do it. Came back, didn't put the gas in the car, never gave me the money back. I ended up running out of gas on my way to work. Why somebody take your last blade and not tell you about it? Yeah. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I was listening to you. You know about the gas in my car. What about it? You see, you're not listening to me. Why would you say you were listening to me if you weren't listening? Oh, because I, I was, yeah, you know, I was thinking about the boy. Well, I was talking about the boy. I thought you were talking about your car. <laughs> I was talking about what the boy did to my car. If you'd been listening, you'd have known that. Yeah, well, you weren't listening to me. Yes, I was. What did I say? Oh, Cliff, you know what you said. <laughs> hey, well, you were listening to what I said, and I was talking about the boy and shaving his nick my face. Cliff, I could have been stranded somewhere. Are you trying to tell me that a nick on your face is as important as your wife being stranded somewhere at night? on a country road alone by herself in the pouring rain and the howling winds? What day was all this going on? Theo, what name did you give the police? What are you talking about? You know, when they booked you. They didn't book me, Vanessa. I waited at the police station until Dad came to pick me up. What did Mom and Dad do to you? Nothing. They got into an argument and forgot all about me. Really? They must still be at it. I haven't got my punishment yet. Boy, when they stop arguing, you are going to get it. Yeah, your goose is boiled. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, boy. <laughs> Looks like you two aren't arguing anymore. That's right, and now that we've finished, we can concentrate on your punishment. Uh, why don't you go up to your room, and uh, we'll be up to see you shortly. OK. OK. But you will remember to give it to me this time, won't you? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> We'll see you later. What I feel is that he understands exactly what he's done wrong, and it's all right to let him go to Lana's party Saturday. OK. All right. And we can ground him for a week after that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there's still something we have to say to each other. I know. Yes. I'll go first. No, no, no. On the count 
of three will say it to each other together. One. Uh-huh. Two. <laughs> three. I'm gonna I'm get sorry. some dinner. <laughs>